Hey guys, welcome back to 7th Stan User. Last time we wrapped up the story of the manga pretty much. There's one last little scene that has not been seen yet, but Dio has been laid to rest at this point. So, the Joe Stars have won their fight, but there's still one man that has many conclusions that need to be written. So, we are now in the basement of Dio's mansion. Here it is! I found it! This is it? The book known as The Path to Heaven? Berlin! Burn it quickly! Before Mr. Joestar and the Speedwagon Foundation get here! Not on my watch. <clears throat> Your... Vins! Oh, so you know of me? Then you also know what I am, no doubt. Please hand that book over to me. If you don't, I'll turn you both into zombies. Berlin! Damn it! Hmm. <laughs> now that's a good girl. In return, I won't turn you into zombies. I'll let you die with dignity. What? Just who are you? Funny you ask. Well, I suppose I may as well tell you one interesting tidbit before I kill you. Actually, the name Vins is just an alias. My real name is Blue Marine. A true vampire, transformed by the stone mask. Hmm? The stone mask? Impossible! They were all destroyed by Mr. Speedwagon while still in his youth. The stone masks were created by the pillar men, By cars, with a C. Many exist aside from the one that was destroyed. Perhaps it was a coincidence, or perhaps it was fate's whimsy. But they, but there was one buried beneath the floor beds of my very home. One day, when my illness had confined me to my bed, the house began to burn. It was an arson committed by a group of white supremacists. While my house was ravaged by the blazing hellfire, I found that the mask pressed against my own face, and my blood triggered the mechanism. The transformation cured the illness that was plagued to me, but afterwards, my son was killed by the same man responsible for the disaster. That child, Wes Blue Marine. It's currently locked up in the Green Dolphin Street Jail under the name Weather Report. So, this is Weather Report and Poochie's mother? You'll figure out what that means in the future. That's... I kind of spoiled something. Then again, if you're watching this so far into the series, you probably know what JoJo is. Locked up? Didn't you say he was, he was dead? Strictly speaking, he's alive. But his mind was ripped from him and his soul died very soon after. Weather Report is not my son. Son I knew, Wes. He died 17 years ago. I wanted to get my Wes back, the real Wes. To do that, I must teach that man what that book contains so that time will accelerate. Fate orda ordains that Dio must die today. Fate ordain ordains that Jotaro must find the book. And fate ordains that he will restart it. How do you know all this? Can you tell the future? It's a long story. This whole time I've been observing destiny. That's Honoi Rock's true power, to avoid to observe the course of fate, from this world to the next, to the one afterwards. I can watch the near past and future just like a film reel. A long time ago I scraped by as a fortune teller, devouring the suicidal to live. Then one day, with my stand, I was torn from the world I knew in an instant. Time began to accelerate. What, what, what I saw was time getting faster and faster, evolving, eventually blending into one world like the picture in a phenocytoscope. Phenocytoscope. Then, this world? You're the one who created it? Even I never expected this to happen. I don't understand the cause, but even he was rendered unable to stop it. At first I was furious, lost, but I soon understood this was my chance to create a new life. To return to that day, to take back my Wes, my poor Wes who was dead before the dawn. I will use the mask to make both of us vampires. But then, but I was dropped off in 1989, a moment too late. I figured I could turn the phenocytoscope once more and try again, but I couldn't do so. There's another observer in this warped world, someone whose purpose is to see this world run its destined course from start to finish. Because of them, I cannot leave this place. To try again, I must erase this world's observer. That person is the 7th Stand user. 
Jason. Destiny has been changed thanks to them. I have to make things right. I have to let Jotaro see the book, then kill that stand user. Huh. So that's it. I think I'm beginning to understand what this is all about. I heard everything. I noticed someone in this room who shouldn't be there and waited outside until you were done. What I get from this is that if I defeat you, the world will go back to normal. Steel and those two will go back to their time. I'll wrap all this up right here! You! Who do you think you are? Your precious friends aren't with you now. There's no sunlight that will ever reach this place. You thought you could beat me, a vampire? This is the final battle. I'll finish you right here and now. Jason, rip their bodies to shreds. Hanoi rocks. Gnaw them to pieces. Three dog night. All right, final boss. So she's got no vampires left. I've got a lot of items I threw away. Yeah, and that sucks that I had to throw away all my, no wait, no. No, I reset. I forgot about that. I do have all my items. You stand no chance, Vins. Anyway, I want to see what's up with this final boss. Because this is most definitely the final boss, at least for, you know, this shit. Uh, let's see. Um... Let's see. Uh... Trying to figure out what I can do here. Um. Uh. Trying to figure out what's going on. Apparently, something will happen if I waste too much time. But then again, she has 3,000 health. Uh, and her stand shares the same health bar, I guess. I don't really know what's going on here, but anyway. Now we know that she is the the mother of Weather Report's body, and uh, that she's planning to kill me to try and make sure the world goes to a, like, a different path so that she can actually save Weather Report, or the original Weather Report, and do something with it. I don't really know what's going on, but for now, I just need to murder him. Damn. He does a ton of damage. Then again, I don't do that much damage, which is pretty sucky. I might actually need to go back and grind or something. Drink some soda. Soda! There we go. If only I had my friends here. If you do survive for a while, something good will happen. But it'll be a very long fight before that happens. So, uh, she can heal herself apparently. So there's a lot of fight. Like, if I only do 100 damage, it's going to take me 30 turns. At least at, you know, normal speed. Okay. Which would involve me going all the way back to before the Dio fight. And at least getting a little bit set up. Can you please stop hitting me? Can you please stop hitting me? I'm just trying to be a nice man and kill you. I'm just trying to be a nice man and kill you. Yeah. Race rubber stingy eyes, because she is a vampire. Why did I... So, I've learned about, like, why I exist, I guess, which is interesting. I fell over, goddammit. Jason is dizzy. Could you not be dizzy? Could you not be dizzy? Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, this... Oh. <clears throat> Where am I? Wait. Who are all these people? This is a place where souls gather when they harbor too much resentment to go to the afterlife, or died suddenly and haven't realized it yet. What? A vampire named Dio? Let me think. Nah, no one ever came here. Maybe he died without regrets. Interesting. Speed... It, it, is that Speedwagon? Creator, good work out there. How did I end up here? Do I just go back? I can't stay in this world of the dead. There's too many regrets left. It won't open. Am I stuck in the afterlife? Unable to move? Stuck in hell, pretty much? Why am I so slow? <laughs> I guess I'm a ghost, but still. 
Do I need to talk to somebody to get the hell out? I don't know. These sprites tend to s change their image. Like, Chaka, every time he walks up... That's not Chaka, that's the barber. But, like, every time he walks up, he turns into a woman. Strange. Can I talk to these ghosts? No? Pet shop's just flying around. Is this, like, the final... Oh, I think that's, uh... The girl and a random dude. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Joseph, you old fucker. There's no way to trade a lady. Oh, you talk while in them. Mama. L let me get down. It hurts. You little punk. Killing me in Dio's name. I'll give you a little... I'll give you a buzz cut. Ah! Uh, S stop it! I was ordered by Dio to kill you! Really? So these are like the, uh... Like the sta the the lives of all the dead people we've killed. Along with some that you wouldn't even recognize, because they- we never saw them. If I could have just saved her. I'm thankful that I was able to meet him one more time in this world. See, there's a door. Iggy! Iggy Avdol and Kakuane. The area past this door is for the dead only. Open it if you're ready to pass on. I don't think I'm ready to pass on, though. I think I want to fight one more time. I want to see what Iggy has to say. What happened to Mr. Joestar? Is this is that senile old coot okay? Come on, Avdol. Looks like my next destination is the underworld. Kakuin. Kakuin. You should go home. I hate to see you in a place like this. How do I go home, Kakuane? Uh, tell me how to go home. Tell me why I'm so slow. I am very slow. I'm gonna guess this is vanilla ice. Don't spout lies, you beast. I, I was walking down the street when a luxury car came flying down the sidewalk. It's true. It scared the wits out of me. By the way, where am I? I'm guessing you're just one of the people that got killed when Fenator Senator Phillips uh, drove over everybody. I want to talk to him. I am Senator Wilson Phillips. That's cool. Who is this dead body? Who is dead body? It's a ghost. No, a corpse. On the ground in front of him is a message written in blood. Find the God-slaying axe. Where is this going to take me? Come back to us. Hmm? I can't move. Jotaro and Joseph are just kind of walking away. I don't know what's going on. I, it's so slow. I can't even really explore this entire place because... I cannot walk around to actually speak to people all that easily. Is this strength? No, it's forever. Ook, ook, ook. I don't know what ook, ook, ook means, but okay. Can I talk to Speedwagon and can he let me the fuck through from all the way at the very beginning of the game? Good work out there. Good work out there. Good work out there. I'm just stuck in the world between worlds just trying to find something, I guess. I can't really talk to everybody because there's just too many of them. Damn, that Jotaro... I would have been a billionaire living in a huge mansion right now. That piece of shit. Okay, then. Well, I should probably try and... I can't even pause in this area. I think the only option is to just let myself die. So, I'm going to go back to Cairo. And hopefully, uh, we can actually, you know, like, kill uh, Vince. So, uh, yeah, give me a sec. Okay, it's been a full day, it's been a full stream, <laughs> kind of like, so the, the timeline of events were that I recorded the first half of this episode, lost, then I trained for a while, then I had to stream, then the next day happened, then I trained and got ready, so I'm back, right where Vin's was, right before our fight, I'm a couple of levels higher, which means I have more stats, more health, but I do have something that the uh, wiki uh, recommended I get so I don't know if this try around is going to be the uh, the actual last time but I hope it is 
since I had to go all the way before the pet shop fight to get trained up and get items, so it has been a bit. So anyway, let's just kind of, you know, move back to the uh, the fight between Jason and Vins. So it's just going to be a lot of typing. Literally, I stood here, or I sat here, and mashed the Z button through all the cutscenes. Because all the fights that you, you know, have to do... Uh, throughout those last, like, couple ones are not ones that you actually fight in. Like, pet shop, you run away and get hurt until you get to go into the water, which then ends the battle, pretty much. Uh, younger, t younger Darby, Jotaro pretty much takes care of that after you get knocked out. And then the Dio fights are all just a bunch of run away until, like, all the cutscenes happen. So, it doesn't take any time to, like, get back, or it doesn't take any... It, well, it does take time. It doesn't take any mental thought to get back here. It's just like, uh, you have to, like, have a lot of time on your hands. You have to have the time to, like, sit here and just mash the button. Vince is just talking about how she's a vampire and how she wants Weather Report to come back, or what she calls Wes. Really doesn't make much sense if you haven't seen Part 6, but... No, a lot of this game doesn't make much sense if you haven't seen all of JoJo. Just because, you know, the whole plot of a 7th of seven stand user requires that you've already seen pretty much all of JoJo. But, you know, it's also a good way to watch Part 3. I think I was talking about this before, but I do really like 7th stand user. As a uh, JoJo fan, it calls back to lots of different stuff in the series that I just enjoy so much. And it's a great way to experience Part 3, just the kind of amended version. So, eh, I think it's fun. I think it's cool! Anyway, I need to beat the fuck out of you. Now, I've got a special item that the, uh... Oh god, I'm still dying from digestion. I took, like, a shower after eating a whole pizza. I sat around for a bit. I'm still digesting. I need, like, ginger ale or something. Usually that works. Anyway, I got a very special item that it took me, like... It, it costs, like, 30,000 G. But apparently it makes Vins into like a complete and utter pushover, so... Just wanna turn on the music so I can hear it. Okay. Toxicant. Inflicts all sorts of status ailments on the enemy. So if you use it on Vins, she gets fucked up. I don't know about Hanoi Rocks. I do have a new item put onto me. I, I bought a trench coat a bit ago. But, uh... She was engulfed in flames and distracted by something. Damn. Well, that works, I guess. Anyway, I put on a new item, which was a trench coat. Uh, so, I don't know if that really helped or not. I guess if you bought a lot of those, maybe it would help, but... Other than that, it does not seem like something that's worth it. Either way, that was a little bit of a... A grind for nothing, I guess. Excuse me. Oh boy, I'm still below level 40. So I made it so that uh, things could happen to help me, but yeah, I don't know if maybe I do need to do a little bit more grinding. I don't know. Uh, I do have those first aid kits. Shot blinding light. Space ripper stingy eyes. I would say space rubber stingy eyes, but I think that might be just a mistranslation from years gone by. So yeah, uh, we're just back at where we were. Just a little bit stronger. Just a little, little bit. But yeah, the plan is just to hit Vins a lot. And just hope that I don't get killed in the process. That fucking, that fucking horseman in the background. He kind of does look like Made in Heaven, if you think about it. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be happening. She's faster than me and stronger than me. Uh, I die again. And then I get sent back to the world that was not here. Can I move faster here? Nope, still slow as fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I think I don't want to grind anymore. I'd rather throw my head at this until it works. So, sorry if this is a big cut, but nothing's really going to be happening in the battle until, like, something happens. So for now, just just hang on tight.
Okay. Let's go in three, two, one. So after uh, a couple of tries and changing my tactics, because I remember something about the wiki telling you that you can change your tactics and kind of change your stats a bit. So if right before the fight, when Steel tells you, do you want to change your equipment or tactics, you can go in and change it to being uh, defensive, and then you can choose one that's called guard, which makes your guard better. Like, I was taking 14 damage from Annoy Rocks whenever you used, like, a regular charge attack. So if you just guard for a while, I don't know how many turns it was, but finally Berlin says, this is bad. I don't know if they can hold out. Well, what should we... I probably won't be much help, but I'm going to fight. Berlin, join the battle. Neurox is existing. So yeah, then uh, Berlin will at least join the battle. He's not great. <laughs> He's not all that amazing. And let's see. Uh, it's supposed to say that Alicia also joins you, but for now, I don't think she can. So, I'm going to guard Tactics. Doesn't he have... I thought he also... I thought he had a stand. But I, I guess not. Or at least, not right now. So, now that they have, like, two targets, it'll make it a whole lot easier for us to actually fight with both of our dudes. It's not going to be all that great, just with the knowledge that we're not... He's not strong, he's just kind of like a, uh, a dude. He's just kind of like a dude. Let's see. Ripple infused wino. Wino. So yeah, that's what happens if you wait the right amount of turns. Then you can actually, like, have these two help you out. I don't know why, uh, Alicia isn't jumping in. Maybe she jumps in after Berlin. Uh, but... You're supposed to be able to at least have, like, a good number of idiots coming to help you. So now that I have a healer on my team, he's not actually a healer, but, uh, you know, in my world, he is now a healer. Uh, now I will at least have, like, a bit more of the ability to live on. I don't think Berlin gets hit all that much. At least it doesn't seem like he does. So he can kind of just play, well, medic. He also seems to dodge quite a bit, and not take that much damage. At least the wiki says that he is a, like, mostly strong physical hitter, which I don't think is too useful against Vins and Hanoi Rock, but just having somebody else here is going to at least be that little bit better. He really does not have good shit. Inflict, so this is inflict lots of physical damage. This is inflict severe physical damage. Vin's probably is a better idea to attack. God damn it, I fell over. I fell the fuck over. Jason is dizzy. Threw a hand grenade. God damn. You fuckers do not like us. Well, I don't like you either, but could you just, like, you know, not suck my asshole out? No, that's very, that, that's very unnice. I'm gonna call the polices on you. They are very, they really do not like me. Look, I know you want me dead because you want your son back, but... Dead to fuck you. Dead to fuck you. Really, Jason's the only one that can keep up, like, good amounts of damage. We just need Berlin to kind of act as throw shit at me until I'm good. I've run out out of, like, my SP crap, didn't I? I don't know. What, what, what did I use it all on? I don't remember what I used it all on. Anyway, it should be enough to at least get me through the battle. I don't know if maybe, like, it's just going to take a number of turns. I couldn't actually tell you the number. I don't know if, like, I might not be smart enough to really actually play a sped-up version of uh, what, like, happened here. That would be a good idea. I don't usually remember to tell myself to do that, but if I do do that, you're at least going to see, like, uh, you could probably count if you just had a good enough memory. Or if you can watch a video that is really fast. <laughs> ah, damn. I really don't know what to do here. Anyway, Vins should be knocked over because of being thrown at the wall. Why did he get attacked twice? How could you... I mean, I guess it's a grenade, but still, a grenade blows up a lot of shit. Wouldn't we blow up the book at the same time, which is kind of what 
Berlin wants to happen. He wants the thing to, like, fuck off. He wants the thing to, like, you know, fuck off. Please stop hitting me. God damn it. I have no balance. In real life, I've got pretty okay balance. It's not like I fall over all the time, but in this game, I am, like, a complete fucking klutz. I am the uh, definition of klutz. Stop hitting me. That is very abusive. We don't like it when you abuse us. Berlin is taking a lot of damage. Please. They've got... At least Vince has 3,000 health. I don't know what Hanoi Rock has got. My only guess is that he shares. I don't think he shares health, but he probably has a very close amount to hers. So, I have no clue. He could have like 5 million health. He could have infinite health, and I'll just never really know because... <laughs> I wish there were health bars in the game. That would be cool. But I think that's just like... That would make the game a little bit too easy. Because then at that point you know when you're winning. And it's like, I don't think the game actually wants you to know when you're winning. The game wants you to like be as tricked as possible. Damn, we took a ton of damage right there. Whenever you use that Ayai Slash, that's a, that's a strong move, I tell you. That's a strong move. Come on, Alicia. Come in here and act as second healer. <laughs> Everybody put their power into me. Let's see. Uh, Wait, that's me. Wait, that's me. Enough about me. Let's kill you. Stop shooting blinding rays. <laughs> He's already blinded. Okay, Berlin dodged. And then he used the health kit. Please. I don't really know what darkness does because I'm still allowed to attack them. Noi Rocks was knocked out cold. Mm, my my body is breaking down. Oh, was that actually... Did I win? I guess I did. That was the final boss. It took me a couple tries, but I never had to cheat. That's good for me. To be continued. <laughs> Still that off-tone, like, trumpet. Well, I kicked her ass then. I guess beating a person's stand would kill them, so... She just takes the same sprite as a dead person. Mm. Ah, th this can't be happening. Wes. Wes. My. Wes. W Wes. I mean, I guess that happened to Dio as well. He didn't get hit by sunlight, just Jotaro punched him real good. And then Dio died. My body. We're going back to our original time. Now you won't be the one to die at Cape York. Alicia, live on. I'll always be watching you. Berlin. Berlin and Alicia were dragged to their original time. That's my cue. This is goodbye for me as well. Thank you, Jason. When we go back, we won't retain any memories of what happened in this world, but... My feelings for you will be etched into my soul. Steel, are you gay for me? I mean, my dude, you have no body. I don't know who you are. We've never even seen what you look like, Steel. I can't fuck someone who doesn't have a body. <laughs> when I disappear, this world's timeline will also return to normal. Even I don't know what will happen, but I'll say this. There's one thing this world has taught me. One thing I'll never forget. The power to alter destiny is not a stand. Remember that. Steel was also brought back to his original time. See, I told you he was gay. <laughs> You're that or he just really liked me. And what does... It... I guess I win! I lived in the end. Thank God. Bye-bye. <sighs> Take care. Now we have to say goodbye. So, you're sure you don't you want to head back to France, Ponoref? You don't have family there. Why not come with me to New York? Mr. Joestar, regardless of where my family is, France is still my homeland. I have many fond memories there that I'd like to relive. No matter where life takes me, I'm bound to return there eventually. It's my home. But if you need anything, give me a call. Wherever I am in the world, I'll come running with my two missing fingers. Actually, I forget how many fingers he lost. That was part of the vanilla ice fight that we never even saw. It's gonna be lonely. <sighs> we 
we had some trying times, but it's been fun. Since I was with you, it was a great adventure. Could you say it was bizarre? <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. I really mean it. <laughs> I had to be added into the weird, like, hug they did at the end of the thing. <laughs> Alright, see ya, you wrinkly old fart. <laughs> Try to live a long life, will ya? This lousy deadbeat of a grandson. Don't forget about me. That goes for you too, Jason. Yeah, you too. Don't get preoccupied with chasing tail. <laughs> with chasing tail that you forgot, forget to tell us all about. What? I, I just, like, word saladed whatever happened. We'll meet again. Even if you're sick of me by then. Idiot. I don't think I can forget as someone as uh, unique as you even if I wanted to. Take care. Bye, you guys. Jojo was a man who thought he was a loner. No, that wasn't here. <laughs> anyway, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Anyway, that's the end of 7th Stand User. It kind of came up... Well, actually, the last episode was most definitely a lot more... Uh, you know, climactic for me, but this episode is also kind of the climax of what happened to the seventh stand user. As uh, I think I mentioned before, there are multiple endings to this game. So, if this is just one of the many endings, and there's a million different stands and characters you could play as, so it's not like there's just one adventure in this game. There's a ton of adventures you can have in this. Special thanks to me, thank God, and a guy named Unnamed. Thanks for playing. Please wait a few moments. Okay. I shall wait. I'm guessing there's like some kind of Ed Credit scene. Even though there was no real sequel. There is a 7 Stand User 2, but it wasn't made by the same guy. Just please wait a few moments. Either way, I had a ton of fun of it. It's like the first JoJo game I actually played on here. Like on the channel. So it's pretty momentous that I actually did it. And this is like a cult fan game. So I'm like, I always... I. I had only learned about it recently, but I knew that I wanted to play all the way through it, so I'm glad I finally got the chance to. Shortly after the group returned to Japan, Holly became her old self again. Apparently, word got out that Suzy Q, that Mr. Joestar, had lied about going to Japan, and that was my Discord, not yours. Lied about going to Japan, and there was a big fiasco. Soon enough. We went back to school. Kakuin is dead. Well, feels like I haven't been to school in ages. Yeah. I almost started to get to wax... What? I'm almost starting to wax nostalgia. What? Jojo was like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> A lot has happened. But we made it home. But now that I think of it, we've missed a lot of classes. I wonder what's going to happen to us. Seems like a strange thing to worry about after all we've been through. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, Jojo! Yay, it's Jojo! Jojo came back! You were gone so long, we were worried about you. Is it true that you were in the hospital? Are you okay? Can you at least try not to look like you're about to kill somebody? Huh? You know, I've never seen Jojo walk to school with Jason before. I've never seen him walk with anybody, period. Since when did you two get along like peas in a pod? Uh, well, we're buddies. Huh? What? I said we're buddies. That's all there is to it. Come on, Jason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fuck, fuck the girls, we're Sigma. Eek, <laughs> wait, Jojo. Buddies, huh? <sighs> wait for me, Chotaro. And so, we buried the memories of our struggle to the death in Egypt for good. Of course, fate still has many other things in store for the Joe Stars. That's a story for another day. Jotaro ending. Buddies. Because, uh, the person you have the most, uh, friendship points with will be, like, your extra end credit scene thing. Later. Man, 
This is hard. Hmm? Jotaro, where are you going? Home. What else? I already finished the quiz. Y you're already done? Hey, can I see your answers? You want to cheat? Sure. W when did you put it that way? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fine, I'll keep it. I'll keep at it. We've been gone so long, they forced me to take remedial classes. To be continued. The fuck is this place? Wow, I didn't know I was going to be invited to a party at the very end of this. This is like, I guess, the good version of uh, the last ending we were at. To open this, you need a lot of money. Okay, I don't have a lot of money. Let's talk around a bit. Hey, oh. Italian! Hey, did you find me? <laughs> now I sound more like Dracula. Between you and me, they say the Pillarmen are somewhere in this game, too. You know, I hear one of my brother's kids settled down with a woman in Japan. It's an odd link between the Zeppelis and the Joe Stars. I wish it weren't something so dangerous. But maybe the Zeppelis and Joe Stars will always fight vampires together. Nah, that can't be it. Young Joseph, if your friendship with me is strong enough, you'll get a chance to see my gallant visage. If you're good friends with Ponoref, though, his event will take precedent. Yeah, there's a lot of things. There are so many different things that can happen in this game. Like, yeah, Young Joseph and Caesar are here. You can even see, like, Speedwagon and Stroheim here. Hi, it's me, Speedwagon. Even though my graphics are the same as the creator from Final Fantasy Legend. In the same, in the hidden route where I fight Dio and Dyer and I have some lines from Araki's debut work, po Poker Under Arms. But did you notice that already? I didn't even see that. You know, uh, whatever their names. The two random people that I hooked up with in <gasps> Arabia. If you did something different in the game, it would be Stroheim and Speedwagon. Oh, there are people out there in the world that couldn't find me? Wait, are there people out there who <laughs> who killed me? I don't know, Strawn. So what does Iggy say? My endings all seem to have a comedic flavor. Why is that? Oh yeah, you can occasionally raise my friendship levels just by defeating enemies with me. Overdrives give the highest chance. I don't have no overdrives. On my route, you can fight Dio, but he's way strong. Stopping time, throwing knives, tag teaming you with his stand. If you're not at max level, you got a snowball's chance in hell. But if you can see my ending, even if you run away, if you think you're done for, there's no shame in doing that. What Jotaro got to say? On my route, you can defeat Dio through events only, without defeating, without fighting him at all. For an RPG, I wonder if that's okay. The difficulty's pretty high otherwise, so I guess people who can't clear it normally deserve a break. Sorry about that. <laughs> my route's the secret to unlocking this game's hidden route. If I give too much away, it won't be a secret, but the key is to help the people that are deeply connected to my journey. If you get shot by a whole horse in place of me, our friendship levels will grow. If you don't get to travel with me, which route you choose, so I recommend it. My route is unique in the way that you only get one chance to fight Dio. You can't run, and if you lose, it's game over, so make sure I'm not underleveled. Mod, I grew up in... Wait, I grew up with Part 3, so this has a lot of sentimental value for me. I hope you enjoy playing the game as much as I enjoyed translating it. I began working on this game in April, right before Part 3 anime started airing. Now they're up to High Priestess. Between my job and translating this game, I never get a chance to watch past Hangman. Life's a heavy cross to bear. Uh, yes. By the way, I couldn't have done any of this without the support of the super talented Clayman. If, you like, if you'd like me to relay a message, I'm sure she'd be happy. Nukasaku, this computer is where you can create a code number for player versus player pattern battles for your majesty's data. Code number? Y yes sir. Automatic battles are a feature that were added in version 2.0. You can use code numbers to battle other players. It's a 16 digit code. To repair a, no a notepad, then check the PC in the ghost house. That's where you can battle. Okay. Uh, sure. Action settings not confirmed yet. Huh? What's that? Huh? Uh, keyboard to your right. I can't inspect it because it's in the way. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how do you get a number? First, check that keyboard. You can configure the attacks your stand will use. In the configuration menu, you can choose six out of nine possible moves. You you can choose the same attack twice too. 
Once you've done, you can check the PC monitor for your code. Y you'll need to get that one number code to start playing, though. That is, your opponents. Why don't you try and find other people who are playing this game and get their codes? Yep. Can you move out of the way? Sorry, mod. I need you to move out of the way so I can talk to the computer. Let's see. Can I use the computer? If that's what you wish. Bye. Sure. You know, I'll make a code for anybody who's watching this that want to fight me, I guess. Figure actions. Uh, sure. Uh, top priority. Uh, attack. Uh, attack. How do I choose a different move? Uh, attack medium. No. Next page. Cho oh, this is where I get to choose all my attacks. Canine Storm, Wind God, Dash. A lot of these moves I didn't get because I just, you know, didn't level up to the point. Tornado. Sure. Second priority move. Uh, I don't know. What would be a better idea? Shoot a bits? Nah. Probably, I used Tornado pretty much the entire game. I don't know what Canine Storm does, but we'll choose that as well. And then we'll choose the last move, Wind God. Even though I never really got to the ability to use that. Uh, fourth priority move. I don't know. Shockwave? I use that, like, a little bit. Fifth priority move. I don't know, man. Dash? No, I don't see... Uh, I don't Like, me getting away is not a good idea. Maybe getting closer is a good idea. Uh... Just put the rest into Tornado. Yep. Okay, so all my actions are picked. Uh, let's generate a code. Your code has been generated. Make sure to write it down somewhere. Uh, so if you ever want to fight me, or maybe I play the game again and want to fight myself, that's the code. So you can fight what my character was. Save this code number, sure. Yeah, just for myself, I guess. Let's see, I want to check out everybody else. What does Dio say? So you defeated me. Not bad. But there are stronger foes than me, Dio, in this game. They're said to be somewhere in the ghost house. But I wouldn't bother until Jotaro's level is over 40. Thanks, Dio. What's Ben's gonna say? Hello there. My, I'm Bl Miss Blue Marine. Anything you'd like to ask? Sure. Uh, okay. The origin of your stand name. My stand's name comes from the Finnish rock band Hanoi Rocks. The reason it was chosen was to do with the Tower of Hanoi. The Tower of Hanoi is a puzzle solved involving a number of centers. These discs kind of resemble spinning discs on a fin oscilloscope. It is a separately complex puzzle that can be famously be solved by using a recursive algorithm or an answer device from solution, solutions to smaller instances of the same problem. As for rocks, it's a stretch, but it's pronounced similarly to lock. This recursive way of fin oscilloscope is a key to unlocking the puzzle of my son's death. Interesting. There's a lot of people here, like there's uh, Roh Rohan. If you want to start a new game, use those vending machines over there. Also, apparently, if you use the radio to reset your friendship and XP levels if you want. If you want to talk to Steel, I guess. Let's see. Who else is here that I just didn't realize? There's Whole Horse, Darby, uh, his kid. No, this is Boingo and Oingo. I don't remember who these guys are. There's a lot of random dudes. Who are you? Merchant. If you have items you don't need, I'll take them off your hands. I don't know. So if I go into... For one badge of honor, you can start in the game. Uh... Uh, no, I don't need to. Can I just walk out? Uh, never mind. Okay, so if I just go in there now, and I just use a badge of honor to do that. Okay. Sure, I'll unlock it. Sorry, you don't have a badge of honor, so I can't even do that. So either way, that's the end of this playthrough. Uh, next playthrough... I don't know right now. I'm still kind of in the throes of trying to figure out what we're going to do next on the backlog. But hopefully it will be something interesting. So, Thank you for watching, if you have, watching the entirety of this playthrough. It's been a ton of fun. It's probably one of my favorite fan games of all time. So, 
definitely I'd love to come back to this at some point. Play as a different character, use a different stand, choose a different route, do some of the more secret things you can do in the game. That would be great, but as far as I have now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on The Backlog.